we heard that this country, uh, small country, was proposing to shift its economy to other sources of revenues and leave the oil untapped to protect nature. Remy Moncel is a policy analyst for the World Resources Institute in Washington, D.C. He's following very closely Ecuador's efforts to leave 20% of their oil untapped forever to protect its rainforests, species, and inhabitants. The idea is to make its rainforests and pristine lands of the Amazon jungle from climate to ecosystems economically viable by leaving the forest intact and pristine. There are a lot of economic incentives that would call for cutting down the trees and drilling the oil. But if you are able to put a price tag on leaving the area untouched, then you give it economic weight against drilling and deforestation. It's important to understand that Ecuador um, is a, a petroleum-dependent economy. 50% of the export revenues of Ecuador come from, from oil. And the fact that Ecuador would propose to leave a portion of its oil untapped is bold because it's its major source of revenue. Oil is a major source of revenue for many countries, as well as an energy that many depend on for fuel and electricity. Looking at ways to find other sources of revenue, as well as other sources of energy, is a shift away from oil as a commodity and as a source of revenue. It is a hard choice to make, which Ecuador is pioneering. Ecuador, which borders Colombia and Peru and South America, is the first country to propose leaving its oil untapped and on a region that stretches over 5 million hectares of rainforest where 180,000 indigenous and their communities live. What's interesting and, and particularly innovative about this is that the oil is located in an area that's very bio biologically diverse. It's a biodiversity hotspot. It's one of those few places on earth where you find incredible species, incredible trees and plants there's this combination of biodiversity um, in the jungle, which is also an area that's inhabited by indigenous communities that have lived in voluntary isolation. And right underneath that, you have oil, which is the major source of revenue for the country. So the easy path for Ecuador is to drill the oil. And instead, they're proposing to leave the oil underground and try to find solutions to still be viable as an economy. If the oil in the untouched area, some 840 million barrels of oil, were to be drilled, processed, and burned as fuel, 407 million metric tons of carbon dioxide would be emitted into the atmosphere, according to the World Resources Institute. Ecuador's preventative action of keeping the oil in the ground would offer carbon offsets and the possibility of creating an international market for carbon offsets to be traded with those that pollute. The effect would be to turn the untouched oil and forest into an economic asset to be traded globally. 20% of the oil reserves in Ecuador are located in this spot. If Ecuador is going to leave it there, it needs to find other ways to uh, get the resources that it would have gotten otherwise. As I said, it's very dependent on, on the oil for its, for its revenues in the economy. Um, so the question is, how can Ecuador make up for the resources that that oil production would have generated? With skeptics questioning the project's viability, Remy points out the concept of avoided oil drilling that offers carbon credits that can be cashed in. And he also points out the far-sighted concept of the U.S. national park system that President Theodore Roosevelt presided over that has taken huge swaths of national forests and created untouched natural areas across the country, including Yellowstone National Park. Ecuador's proposal is getting support from countries in Europe. The fact that you have countries like Germany that have taken a look at the initiative and have become very interested in it and are now considering a $50 million pledge to it to support it is very encouraging for it. You know, if, if Germany makes the first step and <clears throat> commits to the initiative, then you might have other countries that follow suit. Ecuador's proposal of not drilling its oil is providing an alternative way of viewing natural resources around the world.